So we're continuing on with the Corona guitar build and last episode we worked on the neck, shaped it, uh, fit it to the body and uh, glued on the fretboard and I just spent a bunch of time sanding and shaping uh, the neck using uh, 150 grit paper and I think we're at the point now where we should start thinking about the bridge. So I went ahead and uh, created a template from my plans for a bridge. And we're gonna make this bridge out of walnut. And uh, I'm gonna use this template to trace it out and shape it uh, using the uh, oscillating spindle sander for most of it. And we'll, we'll route out the, uh, the saddle and cut the, um, the peg hole, peg holes, and, uh, you know, get that all shaped up, and maybe if we have enough time, we'll uh, find, uh, place it, place it on the, on the soundboard and glue it down, and uh, I have a, a jig I want to try out for uh, positioning the, the bridge in the correct spot and making sure the intonation is correct things like that, so uh, if we have enough time, we'll get to that in this episode, but uh, I want to just, uh, we'll start by tracing this out on, onto some uh, walnut and cut it out of a bandsaw. So I think this piece of walnut would be nice, uh, the grain is nice and straight here, and it actually has a bit of a curve uh, to match the curve on the top of the bridge, so I'm just going to eye this up. Cut a chunk out here. I'm actually going to cut a second one because I have, uh, I might actually be able to get, might be able to get two more out of this. So the third one that came out is a little thinner, but at least I have a spare blank. See the bridge has some ears, and what I'm going to do is transfer this uh, profile. 
I'm going to transfer this to my, uh, transfer the measurements over to my blank. And we'll cut, we'll cut this, uh, this profile out on the, uh, actually we'll, we'll use the oscillating spindle sander to cut this profile. Inch and seven sixteenths. guys so we have shaped the uh, bridge here and the next step in this process is cutting the slot for the saddle so I have the bridge here uh, mounted in a jig uh, and by mount I mean I basically have done the uh, little super glue masking tape trick where you put masking tape strip of tape on both surfaces, bead of super glue, sit them down for, press them together for a couple minutes and it is solid. It doesn't move and when you're ready to take it off, just take a flathead, pry it up, it comes off pretty easy. Uh, it's just a simple jig though that I have here uh, which accommodates my Dremel and it allows me to uh, go side to side and I have a stop on each end and that'll make sure that I only go as far as I need to go on each end and a stop front well actually a stop just on this side to rest the, uh, the base of the Dremel on and it's, it's on a slight angle uh, to accommodate the angle of the saddle and I basically just took uh, the same template here that I used to shape the bridge itself and I took some measurements off of it to help me position uh, the fence there and the slot is going to be it's roughly 3 30 seconds wide which is about the width of this uh, router bit that's in the Dremel and I'm gonna route it about 120 thou deep. And I'm gonna use my, uh, it's actually 128. And I'm gonna use my, uh, my gauge here to tell me exactly how deep I'm going. So I'm gonna make um, a couple successive passes, uh, plunging down each time just a little bit farther. And uh, let's see how it comes out.
right, so I want to show you um, what uh, I was uh, doing here. So you can see I've got I've got the original uh, bridge here, and what I originally used was I've got this uh, bit. It's about an eighth inch uh, thick, and um, you know I used my jig and I routed the slot, the saddle slot, and it just was a little, it's just a little too loose, so, you know, this is probably, this, this uh, saddle is probably maybe uh, 330 seconds, maybe a little less, um, in fact, we can measure it here. Hundred and seventeen thou, and I can take my my Stumac uh, string action gauge has a little chart on the back and 117 thousandths is about 11 sixty fourths <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry um, it's just under an eighth so probably 330 seconds and is what this is so it just wasn't uh, this isn't gonna this isn't gonna play well with it loose like this um, so you know it's one of the reasons why I cut the second saddle you know I had a second blank just in case because uh, I can I can always reuse this at another time but having this extra blank is helpful because uh, I have a, a much smaller bit um, for the Dremel and this is probably a sixteenth the width of this bit probably about a sixteenth of an inch and let's see we'll just measure this with the calipers sixty thou and yeah it's about just just under a sixteenth of an inch so Essentially what I did was mounted it in my jig just the same, made my first initial pass pass, excuse me. Had a 16 16th inch uh, wide saddle uh, slot and then I just basically used masking tape as a spacer on this uh, you know this fence here and probably put on about 10 layers of masking tape, maybe more. Uh, working my way out a little at a time. I just like sneaking up on on these type of cuts because I didn't want to, you know, just have to go back and cut another one and make that work. So eventually, after putting on 10 to 15, uh, really two at a time, two masking tape um, layers at a time, I eventually got to a, to a point where this fit this fits really well. Uh, now, uh, I'm just going to quickly uh, shape it again, put the ears on it, round it over, uh, and then uh, we'll lay out for the, uh, the, the, uh, the string, the peg holes, and um, alright, so let's get this shaped.
Well, I think that's just about it. Let's see how it'll look on the top of the guitar.